Jim Gary Day star in the premier Australian drama, A Sting in the Tail. This is Television Victoria News with Peter Ackfield. Tonight, the region's needy warned not to look to gambling machines for a quick fix, some good export news for our wine producers, and a petrol price war flares up in Bendigo. Good evening. The Salvation Army is hoping to set up extra financial counselling services in the Bendigo area to coincide with the impending installation of poker machines. Andrew Anderson reports the Salvos say the machines will spell disaster for the region's low-income earners. Early favourites to win this year's Central, this week's Central Victorian Junior Country Week competition. 78 players are taking part in the round robin series, which has been dominated in recent years by Kahuna. Adrian Kerr reports. Bendigo Blue and Gold converged on Canterbury Park for day one of the carnival, which has drawn together six teams from throughout the Loddon zone for four days of competition. Organisers believe Bendigo will again make the finals, but the absence of several players competing in the Dowling Shield in Melbourne has depleted the ranks. Kahuna and Kerrang are considered the main threats. Well, Peter, just standing on those platforms is enough for me. <laughs> it can be pretty painful if you uh, mess it up and hit the water badly, apparently, too. I did that in the old days with the old belly flops. I remember those. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Glenn. Angela Murphy is next with the weather. And Burke and Wills still looking for home. Overcast staff at Bendigo's Botanic Gardens had to turn on the sprinklers this afternoon to ensure the popular parkland stays green. The Bureau says there are a few showers on the way tomorrow, but they should clear by later in the week. Well, taking a look at temperatures, and overnight the mercury fell to a low of 10 degrees, and that was in Swan Hill, while it was a cooler 9 down in Ballarat. And today, temperatures ranged from a rather cool 16, once again down in Ballarat, to a top temperature of 23 at Echuca, Kerrang, and also in Swan Hill. Well, the forecast for Tuesday, a fine mild day in the northern country with moderate south to southwesterly winds. Fire danger is high and the outlook to Wednesday is for some more showers. A cool and partly cloudy day for the north central region with isolated showers mainly overnight and in the morning. A moderate south to southwest wind and Wednesday set to be cool with a few more showers expected. A fine and mild day in Swan Hill with moderate southerly winds getting down to an overnight low of 10 degrees. It should reach a top of 24. A fine and mild day in Bendigo with moderate south to southwesterly winds. Minimum of 9 in the city tonight, rising to a top temperature of 22 degrees. And in Ballarat, a cool and mostly cloudy day tomorrow with drizzle patches, but they're mainly expected to be overnight. Moderate south to southwesterly winds and the temperatures expected to range from 8 to just 17. Well, the four-day forecast, cool and partly cloudy tomorrow with some showers in the south. More showers Wednesday as it stays cool. Becoming fine on Thursday with some clearing showers and once again it's back to fine mild and sunny weather on Friday. To those sunrise and sunset times and sunrise tomorrow morning is due at 6 minutes past 6 and it will set in the evening at 8.48. Our Monday Night Junior forecaster is Veronica Walls who's hoping to see plenty of sunshine on Tuesday but she may have to wait till later in the week. Last week's winner is Anthony Rowe and we'll be sending out a watch to Anthony for his picture. And we'd certainly welcome any more drawings from our junior forecasters right across the region. That's the weather news for the moment. Back to you Peter. Thank you, Angela. Finally tonight, Burke and Wills are still looking for home after all this time. Swan Hill artist Charlie Irvine is trying to find a home for a huge painting of the ill-fated explorers. But Charlie says canvassing potential buyers is hard work. Few households can fit in a painting more than two metres by one metre. Charlie spent several months on the painting, which shows Burke and Wills heading towards the outback near the present site of Swan Hill. He's now hoping to sell it to a Sydney private collector for $450. And that's how we saw the news throughout the region today. National 9 News from Melbourne is next, but for now, from all of us, it's good night.